This month, you will have a seesaw activity to update each day for your March number corner. You will continue to write the date, make observations about the calendar cards, and keep track of the days in school. This month, you will also collect coins. This week, we will walk through the seesaw activity together, and next week, you will start updating it by yourself. Let's get started. We are now in the month of March, so your number corner activity to update each day will say March number corner. Tap the green add response to begin. On the first page, you will see the March calendar grid as well as the stack of calendar cards. Drag and drop the calendar card to match the date. Today is Monday, March 1st, 2021. Over here, we will write the date first in number form. Today is March, which is the third month, March 1st, 2021. Next, let's tap the hand to be able to type the date in abbreviated word form. Capital M A R period first 2021. Next, let's go to page two. Here you will see the March calendar grid observations. In the first column, it says date. Let's write today's date, March 1st. The next column says type of clock. This month, there will be two types of clocks on the calendar grid. The first type is called analog. This clock has two hands, a minute hand and an hour hand. The other clock is called digital. The digital clock shows the numbers in a digital form. On page one, we can tap on the hand again to make our card bigger. Hmm, is this an analog clock or a digital clock? Yes, this clock has the hands, so it is an analog clock. Let's drag and drop analog. The next column says time shown. What time is shown on the clock? On this clock, the minute hand is pointing straight up at the 12 and the hour hand is also pointing straight up at the 12. Do you know what time is shown? Yes, this is 12 o'clock. I'm going to put the card back and on page two, write 12 o'clock. The last column says, how much time has passed? This means from yesterday's card to today's card, how much time has passed? Since today is the first day of the month, we do not have a calendar card from yesterday to compare. So today we will skip this part and talk about it more tomorrow. Next, let's go to page three. On page three, you are continuing to keep track of how many days in school. Drag and drop the X to match the days in school. How many days does this chart show? This is a hundreds grid. It's all filled up, so that's 100. And then we have a 10 rod here. 110 more is 110. Let's add on the ones. 111, 112, 113. This chart shows 113 days. Let's write it in number form and word form. 113. How many hundreds are in 113? 100, yes, so we'll write 100. How many tens? There are 10 rods in this hundreds grid, yes, but that is included in the hundreds. So then we have 110 by itself. 110, and how many ones? 
three ones. 113. Let's drag and drop the arrow to match the number of days in school. You are 113 days smarter. Last, let's go to page four. On page four, you are collecting coins. You are collecting dimes, nickels, and pennies. Each time you see page four, you will read the poems, dime, nickel, and penny. Let's read them together. Dime, 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 little and thin. I remember you're worth 10. Nickel, 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 thick and fat. You're worth five cents, I know that. Penny, 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 easily spent. Copper, brown and worth one cent. Next, let's spin the spinner by tapping on it and tapping again to stop. Today, it landed on two nickels. I know it can be tricky to tell the difference between the nickels and the dimes, especially on this spinner. But let's compare the dime and nickel. See how the nickel guy has more hair than the dime? The nickel is also bigger. The man on the nickel is also wearing a collared shirt. This is a nickel, so that is how I know this landed on one, two nickels. This week we are in week one, so here's our dimes, nickels, and pennies. Since the spinner landed on the two nickels, I'm going to drag and drop two nickels into the pocket for week one. Over here, dimes, nickels, and pennies, data collection graph. Here it shows dimes, nickels, and pennies. Each time we put coins in our pocket, we're also going to drag the bar to match the number of coins in the pocket. So far we have one, two nickels. So I'm going to find nickels, dimes, nickels, I'm going to tap on this gray bar and drag this white dot till it fills up one, two boxes because two boxes equals two coins and this is for nickels, nickels. To save my work today, I'm going to click the orange check mark and we'll do it again tomorrow. Have a good day.